In old Baghdad, according to custom, a man would take a wife, and then another, and then another, and then a... Those were the days. This was the harem bell, the voice of the male calling. It's been a long time between bells. It's always a long time. Just imagine it was my girlish dream to be in a harem. And here I am. Here we all are. Every girl has her dreams. Yeah, but not every girl is unlucky enough to get what she wants. Eleven of us withering on the vine. It could be worse. There are only 12 of us in this harem. King Solomon had a thousand wives. Well, when you work it out by arithmetic, uh, who knows arithmetic? Well, when you're one of so many, arithmetic's important. Oh, arithmetic geography. What we need around here is a small earthquake. Oh, you girls don't know when you're well off. Look at the way you're living. And all I hear is complaints, complaints, complaints. Why, half the girls in Baghdad would sacrifice anything to change places with you. Even love, Sinbad? Sinbad wouldn't know about that. Oh, I know what goes on here. Don't you worry about that. Yes, her son has 12 to choose from. But he calls for the same one all the time. Zohara. Mm -hmm. That's right. Only Zohara. Well, girls, we'll have to move over and make room for one more. Hassan has a new favorite. Who is she, Zohara? Who found her? What's she like? I don't know. I haven't seen her. All I know is that she's with Hassan right now. One long and two short, that's for me. Hassan is calling me. Perhaps for the last time. But not if I can help it. Ah! Oh! Let me out of here! My people are from the plains. They don't like kidnappers. They'll tear you to bits! You haven't been kidnapped. You've been selected for my harem. By an eminent connoisseur. For Hassan's pleasure and my niggardly prop. You got a top price for her, Sharkan. Let me go! You ought to be ashamed of yourself, you, you Baghdad fool! You let me go! Let me alone! Tarkan! None of that! She needs some taming. She has too much temper. I like her temper. Let me go! Lovely. Isn't she, Zohara? Lovely, isn't she? Yeah. Yes, she is. And you can see she's crazy about you. Let me go! Wild little thing, isn't she? The more my delight in taming her. My lord feels equal to the task. That's why I sent for you. For me? To instruct Kira. Yes. Calm her down. You let me go! Let me alone! Let me out! You have a week in which to prepare her. Then I have a week to get out of here! Oh. In that event, Sharkhand ought to give you a refund. Our agreements are always final. No exchanges, no refunds. Well, that takes care of that. Come along, Kira. She says she doesn't want to be in a harem. Well, relax, honey. You're in a harem. already made the sale. I envy you your acquisition. Then you should have kept it for yourself. I can't afford my own prices. Just a moment. I almost forgot. There's an important matter for your attention. Captain, read the letter from the caliph. To the Honorable Hassan Qadi of Baghdad, as governor of my richest province, I herewith enjoin you to caution your tax collector, Sharkhan. Word has reached me that he is devoting more of his time to his private traffic in women than to his public obligations as tax collector. Furthermore, what about the collections this year? My records are open to inspection. We're clean as a whistle. The caliph has a surgical eye for doctored books. Don't tempt him into an investigation. Investigation? The rest of the letter implies trouble for both of us. Rest assured, the caliph will not be displeased. It had better be so. 
Good night. There, don't you feel better? Better in this monkey suit? Oh, calm down, Kara. You're in Baghdad now. Women here would give anything to be in a harem like this. You don't seem to understand. Our women are free. What a strange way of life. It's the only way of life, and all that keeps us from it are these walls. It's more than just these walls. You have a lot to learn, Carol. These bracelets mean instant death if we're found outside. Death can't be worse than what happens here. What happens here? Nothing ever happens here. Well, if we're all so unhappy, why don't we do something about it? What? How? Oh, what's our strength? Our strength? And weakness, of course. Well, Hassan has plenty of strength. And in Baghdad, Hassan is the law. There must be a higher law. Only the caliph. The caliph? Well, why don't we petition the caliph? The caliph? Why not? I'd risk anything for the man I love. The caliph? I could be beheaded. You love him, don't you? I'll risk it. Anything is better than nothing. Laura! Fetch me my parchment and pen. No woman has ever dared to address the caliph before. You're writing your own death warrant. It may mean death for me, but for you, it means riches. If the letter is delivered to the caliph. Such a letter could never reach the caliph. Well, anyway, it would never get there on time. Under certain circumstances, it might get there in one week. Oh, no, a week would be too late. Oh, it will positively reach the caliph in two days. Oh. I don't know what to write. I know exactly what to write. Oh, most noble and illustrious caliph. Noble and illustrious Caliph, I, Zohara, wife of Hassan, the Cadi of Baghdad, do humbly submit a petition of complaint. Complaint? From a woman? What is the world coming to? Turn her over to my godson, Azar. Have him see that she departs her unhappy life at the earliest moment. Morning, Godson. Look, Gaza. size of your gift, or the generous intentions which prompted it. But as it happens, sire, I have a point of view. A point of view, godson, that excludes women. That includes one woman. One woman at a time. One woman for all time. Take them away. Take them away. Signed by 12 other women. 13 women who speak out against submission to one man. This is insurrection. It's the breath of reform. By 13 women grown tepid in the loveless house of Assad. You side with these unspeakable 13? I'm intrigued by the bold statement of this Zohara. What statement? 
that women are the equal of men. This blasphemy is in her letter. To the word. I'll display their heads in the public square. Would you give them a chance to prove their equality before removing their heads? I have no stomach for games, Godson. Oh, sire. Oh, well. I'm an old fool to be soft about a Godson who makes a face at custom. I think it would amuse you, a battle of wits between the Zohara and her husband Hassan, the caddy of Baghdad. Oh, in the name of sport authorized. And leave the details to me. And on the side, I can look into the complaints about official corruption in Baghdad. Yes, that's true. I have had such complaints. But I warn you, the caddy of Baghdad is a proud and vengeful man. So I've... Uh... Oh, I won't know you without your head. Oh, let me try. Say you agree. How uh, long would it take to decide this uh, battle of wits? Let us say that the winner must triumph ten days from now on the feast of the colleague's birthday. Agreed. On one condition. A forfeit if the Sahara loses her battle of wits with Hassan. Yes. The girl you saw here before, you are to settle down in the conventional way. With all of them? Yes. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. What's the disguise for? Oh, it's a state secret. What have you got all the milk for? That's a little state secret of my own. Fresh goat's milk for a beauty bath. All the elegant ladies in Baghdad come here. The secret of my success is in adding rare, fresh flowers to the goat's milk. <laughs> Uncle Omar, where is he? Now lower your eyes as you walk past the bath. My latest illusion. How do you like it? Unbelievable. I can hardly believe it myself. That should go well at the feast of the Caliph's birthday. Say, is this a new fashion at the court of the Caliph? Hardly, Uncle. This is the uniform for a special mission here in Baghdad. But my connection with the Caliph is not to be mentioned to anyone. You're not in trouble, are you? I can explain the whole thing to you. It'll have to keep. Two of the Caliph's wives have just come for a beauty treatment. It's good to see you, nephew. Two of the Caliph's wives? Would you by any chance know one called Zohara? Zohara? She's one of the pair that just came in. I recognized her voice. Keep quiet a moment, and you'll hear them talking. The only time we're allowed out of the harem is when we come here for the bath. It's the finest beauty parlor in Baghdad. The girls who come here talk so loud that sometimes you can't help hearing what they say. So that's where you get the material for your mind reading act, eh? Huh? It's very clever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is fine. <laughs> I told you you'd love it. It's lovely. If it only weren't for a son. Oh, he isn't so bad. How can you defend that man? Well, that's easy. I'm in love with him. I've always been his favorite, and I always want to be. His favorite? Now, that's what I mean. I don't want to be part of a man's life. I want to be the whole thing or nothing. One man for all time. Kira, remarkable. Her point of view is unusual, exactly like mine. What about her? She's the newest edition of the Cardi's harem, and as you've heard, still untamed. But life in a harem has always been like this. Mm, it always will be, unless we women do something about it. Oh, like what, for instance? Well, like, like rebel. Zalika's promised us something new for our bath today. I think you'll like it. Uncle, I want to meet these two. It's unthinkable. And how can I think? Oh, nephew, it's impossible. Oh, God. You're master of the impossible by profession. Now, you tell Aunt Zalika, I want a chance across them in your quarters. Accidentally, of course. <laughs> I've mixed a new perfume here would make any man mad. And you're the first in Baghdad to hear about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, a man! Oh, 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 oh magic! Oh. Kira, we better get out of here in a hurry. Stop, ladies. This chance encounter is Allah's will that I serve you. Well, how can you serve us? Well, I'm a man of many accomplishments. Already I've read your minds and know what troubles you. You do? Oh. You, my lady, are unhappy in a harem. He's been eavesdropping. And you're both concerned about a petition to the caliph. Well, I didn't 
mention our letter to the Callers. Oh, I know. You've come from the Callers. He sent you an answer to our petition. The Callers emissary? He's only Asa, my nephew. Not the Callers emissary, but a storyteller. It's my stories that work miracles. Well, how could your stories help us? Come on, Kira. We'll take a big story to help us. Wait. Your husband, Hassan, is the most powerful caddy in all Baghdad. So? If you could outdo him in a battle of wits, make him look foolish despite his exalted position, you would surely provide a story that would amuse the caliph and ensure the success of your petition. That makes sense. Well, what are we to do? I have a plan in mind. Come, let's organize our strategy. The official accounting of the tax revenues of Baghdad for your gracious signature. Is everything in order? The public will have no complaints this time. When does the caravan leave with the caliph share? The mules are being packed with gold right now. They leave tomorrow night. Sire? There's a man in rags outside who swears he's a nobleman. Well, tell him to keep on swearing. Outside. Every beggar in Baghdad has recently acquired a pedigree. My apologies, but I can match my pedigree with yours. Huh? I don't mind a show of hospitality, but not from servants. My ancestors would resent that. Your ancestors might also resent those rags you're wearing. You speak like a man of the plains. What are you doing in Baghdad? Well, I came to transact some business, but my party was attacked and robbed just outside the wall. The story's too smooth. Ask him for some proof. How do I know you're telling the truth? By my education. I can read. To the most illustrious college. Not only our own language, but Sanskrit, Greek, and Roman as well. Now, if you'd let me, I'd like to show you a sample of swordsmanship. The deuce, the tray, the knave. The deuce, tray, and knave. I am also trained in medicine, if someone would care to test my skill. They're all quite well, thank you. Wait, my right shoulder has been out of joint for some time. If you'll permit me. Oh, you do have unusual accomplishments. Accomplishments are no security for a loan. Can you provide me with suitable quarters? You can rent a villa joining my palace, but the cost is high. I'll pay double what you ask when my caravan arrives. And what if your caravan is robbed again? Oh, there is no caravan. Then you may fix any penalty you want. I'm a witness to this, man. What is your business here in Baghdad? Oh, it's a big deal. And there's big money involved. I'm sure there would be panic on the exchange. Oh, of course. I lend you the money you need on condition that I get a share in your venture. I agree. And I promise you'll have a substantial share in this venture. It's almost time to go. Here, take one of these. Well, go on. This is the first part of Azar's plan. I can't do it, I'm afraid. But why? So far, everything's gone so well. Azar's even rented a villa next door. But Hassan's no fool. If our plans go wrong, don't you worry. Our plans have been carefully drawn by Azar. You have to take the pill. You have faith in him, don't you? How do you feel? I like it. No, <laughs> you have to dance now. <laughs>
Sahara. My compliments. You've done your job well. I hope so. I mean, uh, the credit is all Kira's. She'll gain nothing but this kind of pretense. Out! Everybody out! Feel her forehead, Sam. Oh, it's hot. It's very hot. Feel her pulse. Racing. She's very sick. Maybe the plague. Oh, I'll off her bed. Quiet! Quiet! This must be a rare disease. No doctor in all Baghdad would recognize it. Perhaps the doctor from the plains would understand this illness. Run and get the man in my villa next door. His name is Azar. Azar? Uh, who is this Azar from the plains? A young physician who's just arrived in Baghdad. It seems he's able to perform miracles. No. This is a rare illness, but I recognize it. You do? A psychic affliction. The girl must be saved. Do you know the remedy? I do. I've cured many others. But the remedy is rare and unusual. Well, what if it is? It must be taken. It must be taken indeed, but not by the patient herself. What do you mean? This is no time for games, I warn you. Indeed, it is not. The principle of the treatment is most scientific. It is, Hassan. Is it? Yes, but the sort is emotional. The remedy must be administered to someone other than the patient. Someone other than the patient? Someone who has a strong bond with the patient. What is the remedy? Well, it's a potion consisting Give of... Give me the potion. There's a strong bond between Kira and me. It would have no effect. It must be taken by someone of the opposite sex. Uh, let me explain. To Kira, you're a negative personality. She positively has no wish to be involved with. I'll change that. You see, you're healthy, so she ails. As a defense precaution. Now, uh... What I propose to do is reverse the situation. I am to aid you so she can restore herself? That's correct. It's ridiculous. As you wish. Ah! Ah! She's in a death throw. Ah! Too bad. Too bad that Destiny claimed one so young, so beautiful. Wait. Miss Potion. What are his ingredients? Here they all are. There's a pelican of red wine, two flagons of goat's milk, the petals of eight roses, an ounce of pigeon's blood, and, uh, uh... Yes, 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 yes. A very effective secret ingredient, known only to the physician's skill. It is ready. It's not as bad as I feared. Why, it's not bad at all. Look, look, she's coming round. Her pulse is almost normal. Allow me, sire. Look, 
Look, she's almost recovered. How did you lose your eyesight, friend? The saber cut in the last campaign. Would you care to do some work? That depends. You'll be well paid. You know others like yourself? Many. Round them up. All of you meet me at the fountain in the square within the hour. Yes. Blind men. What for? I don't know, but I'll follow them and find out. No. I have a better idea. Do you know where they're going to meet? Oh, yes, that I know. At the fountain on the square. We'll get an act, though, to join Ezo's men at the fountain. Someone who can play a blind man's part, a blind man who sees for us and reports to us. Clever, Chief. Very clever. Leave it to me. Do you think that all of them are blind? There are so many unemployed in Baghdad that some men would lie to get this word. Well, I placed two gold coins on the ledge of the door leading from the tunnel. In plain view. In plain view, that is, of anyone who isn't blind. We'll soon know. Now, I must locate the other end of the tunnel. Not into the harem itself. These steps is an old cellar no longer in use. It connects with a passageway that leads into a sand's bedroom. The tunnel must end down there. Perfect. Well, Uncle, everything went smooth as silk. Not at this end, nephew. A gold piece is gone. Then one of the beggars did fake blindness. There's a spy in our midst. But who'd plant a spy among the laborers? Does Hassan suspect anything? No, no, not Hassan. More likely Sharkham. Sharkham? But what's his motive? Sharkan suspects everybody. Why, it's rumored that he keeps a confidential file on everybody in Baghdad. Well, blackmail. Oh, that's only one of his lines of endeavor. Do you know that it's common gossip that Sharkan is the king of the underworld and tax collecting is only a front? And a lucrative one, I'll bet. We'll nail Sharkan for the caliph. Will we? Now, Uncle, I want you to hurry the men with the digging. See that none of them leave. And, Uncle, stop worrying. Help me with these. Oh. You try and tell that to my stomach. 
Well, Uncle, here we are. The diggers refuse to go on. They're leaning on their shovels, yelling they want to get out. Why? They're suffocating, they say. I can't say I blame them. I suppose our seeing friend is the troublemaker. That must be the one who's got information for Shark and wants to get out to deliver it. Well, we'll let them all get out and we'll find Shark and Man. How? With this, I have a relative here of our seeing friend. And we'll just see how kinsmen react when they come face to face unexpectedly. <laughs> Uncle, you jumped when you saw the snake. Uh, now we'll see what happens. You can stop the noise now you're coming out. And don't push, you'll be let out one by one. see anyone until the morning. Hassan, it isn't like you to be rude, especially to the man who saved Kira's life. I suppose I can't have Azar sent away by a servant, with him so sensitive about his noble birth. I'll tell him myself. Try to be patient, my glowworm. I won't be very long. Look, Azar, I haven't much time now. Make your own decisions about time, Hassan. What I have to say is for your benefit. My benefit? You remember my caravan was way late outside the city? Yes. The same thing is going to happen to the caravan carrying the caliph's share of the tax money of Baghdad. You sure of that? There's absolutely no doubt. The plan is to steal the tax money and put you in wrong with the caliph. Have you told this to Sharkhand? You're the caddy of Baghdad. I thought it my duty to tell you first. You are a friend. There's no need to tell Sharkhand. At least not yet. Huh? We'll rescue the caliph's gold ourselves without Sharkhand's help. 
You don't want to share the glory. And the reward? The reward? It's the Caliph's own law. The rescuer gets half of all the booty he recovers. A quarter, my lord. A half divided by two. It's a quarter. Oh. <laughs> ah, there's no denying that. <laughs> I'll be right back. patient a little longer, my glowworm. I'm riding to the hills. It's an emergency, but I'll be back by dawn. You stay. Patience, my glowworm. <laughs> glowworm can hardly wait. <laughs> a night in the hills. <laughs> I give the signal, in we go. This is a little strenuous. I haven't ridden like this for years. <laughs> You'll sleep much better for it. We'll do our job over that hill. I wonder what is 
this game is. I'm not quite sure yet, but that's who will be. This Azar chief. Do you want me to get rid of him? No. We can wait. There's an old saying, Mamu. He who spins a web may find himself strangled by the threads. Oh, I get it. Give a guy enough rope and he'll hang himself, eh? <laughs> I feel fine. You were wise to call for the liniment last night. I think you're right, Sinbad. Tell the guard I don't want to be disturbed tonight by anyone. Now the dose is carefully measured, but be sure all of it goes into the wine. That bell again. An hour early. Will you stay here and finish dressing? I'll see if I can keep him occupied for a while. After all, I have a few stories of my own. <laughs> Time. Where's the bride to be? This way, my lord. What sort of joke is this? Joke? <sighs> Kira, here! Kira? <laughs> Certainly it's you who's joking, my lord. This is Jessica, my bride to be. But she's the image of Kira. Your mistake is flattering indeed, comparing my intended bride to a jewel of your harem. But then all brides. I know you're so enamored of Kira that, well, you see her face everywhere. Jessica doesn't talk our language. She just said, I have often dreamed of meeting the noble caddy of Baghdad. The bracelet. Uncover her arm. Gilroth Uptuckman. Remove this. Oh, but that's permanent. You enslave them in gold. At present, I can afford no better than iron. I want everybody to stay right here. I'll be right back.
you did come back quickly. Well, Sam, you seem disturbed. I'm seen double. Have you a twin sister? Why, no, I'm an only child. There couldn't be two like Kira. A cousin, perhaps, who looks like you. No. Has she any distinguishing mark on her? Yes, a mole on her left shoulder. Aha! I'll be right back. Never make it. Yes, you will. You've got to make it. Understand it, Hassan. The resemblance disturbed you so. Is it so remarkable? Oh, I'm no longer sure. I'm no longer sure of anything. Then you do seem ill, Hassan. Perhaps something you ate. Turn her back to me. Yendricha, set down. <laughs> she cannot turn her back on the exalted carry of Baghdad. This is most unusual behavior, Hassan. I'm looking for a mole. Kira's mole. Kira's mole. I've hesitated up to this point. Now I must make a professional diagnosis. What do you mean? You show marked symptoms. Symptoms? Of what? It would prevent your immediate collapse if you could collect yourself long enough to remember you came here to perform an official function. I pronounce you man in what? For your signature to legalize the union. Your feet, Caddy.
Let's change colors. Why, of course. Uh, let's change back. Why not? The last change. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's drink. Deposit them in the market. I must. 
taking myself for somebody else. Just as Zohara said. I'm really losing my mind. Friend Mahmoud, oh, get out of my way, beggar. Shaka. Wait. We know who Azar is now. Oh, you do? He's the Caliph's godson. Oh. You look worried, Mahmoud. What's wrong? I ought to be thrown to the fish. What's bothering you? I don't know how to tell you. It's your private records. Gone. Gone? Oh, no. It's Azar. He hit me from behind and got away with the key. But how could he have known? Oh, the Caliph must have trained him in undercover work. Yes. The Caliph has a school for snoopers. Do you want me to get rid of him now? I would say you're right. And we'd better get those documents back. Or our goose is cooked. Especially yours. Look, walking there in the square, isn't that Azar? Yes, it is Azar. Get down there and do your job. And no slip-ups this time. Don't worry, Chief. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Hello, remember me? Yes, of course. But do you remember me? You're the beggar who made me smile this morning. Come along, I'll buy you a bath and some food. If I'm just a beggar, why do you do this? Because you amuse me. Then I'll have to wait. I've just had an urgent reminder. Oh, get out of my way, beggar. Oh, oh. I should have known you were no match for Asia. Was it my fault? The guy's a weasel. Look here. Round up 20 men. Search the city. Leave it to me, Chief. Oh. This dangerous business of yours, when does it end? And tomorrow, if all goes well. And if all goes badly. Don't even think it. It may be Omar. It can't be. He's guarding the villa. It's a woman. Let her in. My nephew's wife. Take me to this wife. My nephew's wife, Jessica. Wife? Why, this is Hassan's Kira. I sold it to Hassan myself. Why, it was Hassan himself who married me to Azar. 
I have a certificate here with a caddy seal and signature. Azar anywhere, Chief. Take this girl. Get word to Azar that Sharkan is holding his wife. When Azar returns what belongs to me, I might return what belongs to him. The situation's getting too critical. Now don't worry, Aunt Delica. Everything's all right. Be sensible, Azar. Omar, Kira. Too many lives are in danger. You must get help. That's just what our little friend is going to do for us. Cheese and bread, truly the stuff of life. Ah, what odor, what bouquet. To share your food with me, you are a prince amongst us. You know, I've been looking for a partner. We do fine work in opposite sides of the square. Soliciting arms? And picking occasionally a straight tunic. Saturdays are always best. Women shoppers. Tomorrow we eat. Tomorrow's the feast of the Carly's birthday. And beggars are admitted in the Carly's palace. Has on that pig. He's got more than he can do with anyhow. I suppose it's no use telling you again. I am Hassan. <laughs> Tell me, it just makes me is with him now. The caddy wishes that you'll enjoy yourself, that this day be festive as befits the occasion. I'll bet the caddy isn't sick at all. You may have hit on something there, Mahmoud. Perhaps Hassan is not here at all. Perhaps he's gone to the caliph to inform on us. I demand some personal words with Hassan. I told you the caddy was unable to... Custom requires that the caddy show at least his face. If a sound does not appear very soon, I will go to him. In accordance with custom, open the gates and admit the beggars. Today they feast as guests of the Kadi. Come along, girl. <laughs>
Ara, don't you know me? The voice is familiar, but that face, those rags. Ah, my son. You, the caddy. I imagined myself a beggar. I even acted out the role. And now I've come to this. An odd tale. Believe me, it's true. I am Hassan. Hassan, I'm so humble. My downfall has taught me humility. It was Allah's will. Are you really sincere, Hassan? Hassan. You call me Hassan. Oh, darling. I know I'm going to regret this, but I have to take a chance. Now that you seem worthy of being a caddy, it's time you looked like a caddy again. Oh. You know the passage that leads to your bedroom? I'll meet you there. has worked a miracle. The caddy is recovered and will join the festivities. Caddy is here. Have we a guard station at every entrance? Don't worry, Chief. If Azar tries to get in, we're sure to catch it. This time we dare not fail. If Azar sees the caddy, it's the end for us. To get in here, he would have to be invisible. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Set it down here. I 
bring you a gift card from one who is unjustly imprisoned. Who is the prisoner? My husband, Omar the magician. Never heard of him. Order his release, Hassan. Yes. Have the prisoner brought here. Open the trunk. Let us see the gift. Wait. I have been strange doings these past few days, Cardi. Schemes against you. Plots against your life. What insolence is this in the caddy's presence? Somewhere within the palace walls, this man holds my bride a prisoner. Have her free. Sire. You, you, you woman beater, you, you, ah! Oh, you horrible man. Oh, help, help, Ada. Oh, Ada, help, oh. It's Kira. Of course it's Kira. But she's Azar's lawful wife. Have you forgotten? Of course, there were two. Yes. A remarkable resemblance. This is Azar's Jessica. But where is Kira? Yes, I am. Kira and Jessica are one. <sighs> you married your glowworm to another man. So you've tricked me! Yes. And I'll do it again if you ever look at another woman. Then all of my life I... Hassan, that newfound humility. Don't lose it so soon. I'll teach you humility. Guards! 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 Seize that woman. And that one there. And Azar, too. You have no authority, Hassan. You question my authority? I do. Do you have the caddy's ring? Oh, I must have left it in the bath. Send bath, bring me my ring. Here is your ring, sire. Do you need further proof of my loyalty? All I ask is you hear me out. Why, I haven't covered such crimes as will tear this town wide open. He's trying to make a fool of you, Hassan. He's got your girl, and now he's up to something else. You won't get a chance to fool me again. Guards, seize Azar, and Kira, and Zohara. Sire. Place them to the bank hole. Bury them in the After consulting with the Caliph, I have decided to free Azar and Kira. And my Zohara. He's forgiven me. He's forgiven you. <laughs> Come along, glowworm. <laughs> Darling. Oh, 
Oh, Sam. Yes, my dear. <laughs> Meet my wife. Oh, let me look at you. You've been quite busy these few days. I'm glad to see you've done so well, Lisa. I regret to inform your excellency that the battle of wits has gone against you. You've lost your wager. <laughs> So you've won, Azar. I won't forget our bargain. You are free to settle down with one woman. Let the celebration continue. What a wonderful celebration. I wonder what would have happened if you'd lost the wager. You'd still be my favorite wife. Thank you.